are you joining me for this video? You're very helpful. What do you think? Water dishes or water bottles? Hey guys, it's me, Victoria, and today I wanted to sit down and discuss water dishes or water bottles. So throughout my lifetime of owning hamsters, 10 years, um, I have never gone without using a water bottle. I have never used a water dish for my hamsters. So it really kind of came to me when I was researching more about hamsters in, and their care in other countries like Germany where they do not use water bottles because they don't believe that water bottles are good for the hamster. They actually use bowls. And bulls in water bottles seem to be a very debated topic. A lot of people think that bulls are dangerous and that they can create a lot of bacteria and that your hamster can fall in and drown, which I don't know how you're gonna drown in an inch of water, but okay. So that made me decide to try out water dishes and see how my hamsters like them and what's the difference between the two and which I like better. One of the reasons a lot of people actually like to use water bottles is because that they say it creates less bacteria for the hamster um, because it's not open, bedding and stuff can't fall in it, but that isn't really true. Bottles can create just as much bacteria as a water dish could. Um, if you're not cleaning out this part here every time you change the water and same with this spout. This spout is very 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 hard to clean um, properly. You can't see in it so you can't see what you're cleaning really. So it can be a lot harder to clean so bacteria can build up on this. Whereas this is a open bowl and it's pretty easy to clean and of course every time you change your hamster's water you should be cleaning out their dish so that bacteria doesn't build up in anything. Now another one of the reasons that German hamster owners don't like using water bottles is because they have to drink out of the spout therefore it can be an awkward angle when drinking especially if you don't have it positioned right. If you have your bottle too low they're going to have to try and go like this and if they're too high they have to try and reach as well. So that can cause some issues as well. Um, so you really kind of want your bottle to be at a happy medium, almost eye level. Even then, they people do think that it can cause um, neck issues or that it causes them to drink at an unawkward angle. Whereas a dish, a hamster can drink naturally. Hamsters in the wild, they don't got water bottles to drink out of. Um, hamsters will go to a body of water to drink from, so a dish really is a more natural option for a hamster. Another thing is that when you have a water bottle, I think a lot more people are less likely to change it out as often because you can put so much water in here and you can just walk away and you don't really have to refill it as often, which isn't as good because then the water isn't as fresh. Um, so when you have a dish, the water evaporates a lot more faster, therefore you're going to have to change it more often, which is better because fresh water is good and that way you are going to be cleaning out their dish more, so that means less bacteria. You can very easily prevent a hamster's water dish from getting dirty by keeping it on a platform. Another issue with the water bottle that you wouldn't have with a dish is that a hamster can access a dish at any time, there's no issue. With a bottle, when you put it into their cage, you don't know if this is going to be working all the time. The ball in the water bottle sometimes will get stuck and a pocket of air will get stuck in here, therefore water won't come out, which isn't safe because if you don't go to check it often, your hamster might not be getting water and become dehydrated. So if you do have a water bottle, make sure you are always checking and pushing on this ball and that water is coming out of the bottle. So when I decided to switch my hamsters to water dishes, I had to find a perfect water dish. I didn't want something that was too large um, and I didn't want something that was too tiny, of course. So I actually found the perfect happy medium and that is little tea light candle holders. I got these off of Amazon. It came in a pack of eight, I think. When I gave my hamsters water for the first time in a dish, it was a very interesting reaction. All of the hamsters got it right off the bat. Um, I don't think there's a hamster who isn't gonna know what to do when they're given a water dish because it's just a natural instinct to drink out of water. But these Syrians definitely were a li little bit more shocked when they put their little noses into there and their whiskers touched the water and they were like, oh my gosh, what is this? 
Tater Tot got it right away. She was like drinking out of it as soon as I put it in there. Um, so she really enjoyed having a water dish. It was also really interesting to catch Bumble drinking out of the water dish. It was super adorable and it just looked a lot more natural and she could also access water a lot easier. If you were to compare like trying to drink out of a water bottle yourself, you have to sit there and lick at this ball to get water out. Whereas this you can drink and get water out of very easily. So I think the water bottle definitely can prevent your hamster from drinking a lot more. In conclusion, I think both can be great options. I have nothing against a water bottle or a water dish. I personally am going to be sticking with using a water dish, but water bottles <laughs> but water bottles can be great as well as long as you are properly cleaning them out, making sure they're are working. So I hope this video can help maybe somebody choose between whether or not they want to use a water bottle or maybe they want to switch to a dish or they haven't decided yet. I hope I've answered any questions or concerns. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Bye!